It's your girl, the Rapper Blue, back in the cut with another lit reaction video. It is February 4th, 2022, the fourth day in Black History Month. I know I missed yesterday, but you know, wifey kind of put the wind blam blammy on me, so I apologize, but I'm back. And you know that we coming with bangers all Black History Month. So before we get into it, I need you to smash that subscribe button, hit that like button, share these videos if you care, get in the comments, let me know what you want to see. Plus, I need you to be down there, hashtag post notification. Gang, gang, we are on the road to 4K subscribers. And once we get to 4K, you know what it is, you know what we doing. So you definitely want to be hashtag post notification gang down in the comments below again the online store the website is being put together and as soon as we get it we're going to do an official rock and blue apparel launch for you so you want to look out for that oh my god so i saw you guys in the comments i saw you down there you said that i had to complete the series but i am going to be transparent i did a college fire in the booth part four three years ago so I'm going to dig in the crates and get that one and just put it as an end card so you can see that. But I'm definitely looking forward to seeing two and three. And we're going to get into that right now. We're not going to hold you. We're not going to take too long with these intros. Loco Coco Squad, are you ready? Ladies and gentlemen, are you ready? You know I'm ready. So let's get to the video. Yo, a caller. Wow. Knowledge is power. Volume 1, mixtape, 28th of May. Listen, callermusic.com. Chase. Tiny bit more vocal, please, actually. Listen, knowledge is power, always. Listen. The scam, brother, the scam! <laughs> Oi, mate, my personal life's great Some of you would love me more If I rub that in your face, okay Well, let us run down the resume And have a little chat about a car that's living today Big whip, nice y'all Oh my own masters, still my own master Novels and strips on the way Rap is just a part of And I know you're, listen, 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 listen We're not gonna talk about, I'm not gonna sit here and talk about your personal life the genius. Listen, y'all gotta stop playing with me Y'all gonna stop playing with me Because I'm Look I understand, but you understand that I am my native New Yorker. So when I get these classic hip hop beats and somebody going, okay, okay. I, I try, I tried, I tried to be nice, but now I gotta get in my zone. Hold hold on one second. First of all, he's still flexing on us. He ended on the last one saying, y'all can keep flexing. I'm going to go back to studying. But then he start this one instead of with the knowledge like he started the last one. He started this one with the flex. But the flex is that he's an independent artist. He owned the masters to his music. There's not a lot of people who can say that he owned the masters to their music. He's his own master. He got his own whip. He got his own crib. He'd been around the globe. He'd been doing conscious rap and making money. He got a couple of bits. Look, I'm right there. I'm right there. But the thing about it is, is that you only hear him if he's flossing about and rapping about the shit that he got. You don't. You only respect him then, but you don't respect the conscious stuff. That's basically what I got him saying. And at the end of the day, we only a minute six in the video, and that was including the little intro part. So he took a little bit. I, like I, I hate the yo, yo, but that I understand rappers got to get in their zone. But we only a minute six in. This gonna be a long one. In his head, and he knows it, dickhead. Since I used to kick ball for West Ham with my big head. Back in school days, wearing hang me downs for my sister, and Jell was still onto man. Now that's some last charisma. Man, it ain't great, you gotta be kidding So please don't ever get confused by me spitting Cause yes I said the ghetto's in our head But no I didn't mean If you live next to a food yard Let us in your dreams <laughs> It's far more dangerous than putting us in council houses So you yeah. Okay 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 Did this man just say that he swagged out Hand-me-down clothes from his sister? And y'all still wouldn't? Okay. Okay. So, 
So now, now it's time to go to barology because basically he's saying, yes, he's successful. He's got awards, things like that. But that still don't mean his family not messed up. And that's what people feel to realize when people become successful. They still people. They still got a family dynamic that they need to deal with, things of that nature. He may be the first one in his family breaking generational chains and curses and trauma. I don't know. But at the end of the day, it seemed like he's doing really well for himself. Plus, he's doing it through educating with knowledge of self. And he's like, though he said the ghetto is in your mind, he not saying that there's not real ghettos out here and people are not really going through stuff. He's just saying that if you can get out of the mental ghetto, there's nothing that can stop you. That's basically what I'm getting. And again, I look, I try not to stop. I know y'all don't like it, but I do because it's a reaction. And I got to tell y'all my reaction. And what I'm reacting to right now is that he about to get heavy, heavy. So let's let's get back into it. Let's get back into the bars. It's me, man. It's a little guidance and love. So I think that you're the mug. And why be smug when it's an actual fact? We all commit crime simply by paying tax. Because we didn't go and tickle them people in Iraq and ask them so politely for all the minerals we extract. And that's not the case. Long as the war stay in places that are brown and poor, we can all pretend to be abhorred, but we applaud. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. At the end of the day, he's like, we are all criminals. We're all criminals because we pay taxes. Taxes fund the government. The government go on other countries, steal their resources, use it as their own, and we, we enjoy the benefit of that. So... They do it in America. We pay taxes. America was in a war. Y'all were in the war. What did we do? They went in there and they, they pretty much stole the oil. We all know it's true. We all know that the Afghan, Iraqi war, Afghanistan, all of that, that was for oil. There was no weapons of mass destruction. We still haven't found those weapons of mass destruction because we all know that they wasn't. Okay. We all know that they weren't there. But... At the end of the day, we know what the war was for. Basically, they just went into a whole... They jacked... They, they pulled a lick on another country. They clocked another country. So, that's a crime. The thing about it is, they try to just shine the light on black and brown crime. Like, we so dangerous. And, but there's white collar crime, blue collar crime. There's different levels of crime, but it's all crime. Even in, even in the government, your politician right now, ain't they about to shut down or asking the prime minister to resign because he had a whole party during COVID lockdown? Wasn't nobody supposed to be in there, nobody, and they was at a whole party? Didn't that happen? So at the end of the day, it's all crime. So you got to stop looking down on the poor people who do crime because just because their crimes are blasted on the news doesn't mean that you're not part of a criminal enterprise. Okay. If you go up to night, but you get violent. The policeman at Duckers, you will probably get knighted. What the fuck did, what did you just say? If I don't want to fight you, cuz, it ain't cuz I'm frightened. I'd just rather fight with those who really think they're titan. The world's a reflection of your block. And if you think a world that profit from their death can be totally cool, thinks you're better cuz you live here, you're a bloody fool. Look around at genocide and abuse. I swear to humanity ain't nothing but a virus with you in the system. Look what that does to our recognition of self. We grow suspicion of our own intuition. Now listen, because the sick way raps about racism too much could you imagine i gave a flame because it's amazing how many want to claim they love this music with no respect for the actual struggle that produced it pause this, pause this whole thing right now did hip-hop not start in segregated hoods and them hoods not still segregated so it's really good Period. But the First Nation not still on reservations where the age of 46 is the average life expectation okay, of fel okay. so <sighs> he like and I don't know because are y'all not are y'all not fucking with him really? Like, no, nah, is it not just like are y'all just fucking with him on the internet, but out in the world, y'all not fucking with him really? I understand that this was released in 2012. But basically he's saying, like, you act like you love conscious music and stuff like that, but you not doing nothing about it because at the end of the day, the neighborhoods that this music came from hip-hop in America, grime, UK hip-hop here, are in segregated, poor, impoverished neighborhoods, and those neighborhoods are still poor and impoverished. So at the end of the day, are y'all not fucking with him? Because at the end of the day, it seems like he's getting a hard time for putting the message in the music. It's like y'all giving him, y'all want him to be on some more 
party and bullshit type rap because he got bars. He can rap. So it's like y'all want to hear him rap about the other stuff, but he keep giving y'all game and y'all like, yo, yo, you giving me game too much. And that's a problem in America also. They act like gangster music is the only rap music. I was like, when did it become mandatory that you have to be a whole gangster to be a successful rapper? There's other lives being lived out here and these people can rap and they got something to say. I'm, I'm confused. Well, y'all not really fucking with it? Let me know down in the comments below. I weren't aware the favelas could be suddenly knocked down in a place with something better. If you got sense, you see facts, you join the race, class, and gender besides of the same coin. So don't make me an exception for your mental protection from accepting the madness in the system where you left in. That was the clearest thing to come of August events. All the closet bigots started speaking their minds again. So when the Jamaican or Asians misbehaving, of course, it's because of their skin. Blonde hair kills a million people, that's just him. Method! And it's entertaining, some people are so thick, but I prefer that. Can order the fake grins Cause it's the only problem people claim they want to solve But don't actually want to talk about how it evolved You are told this country really really yours sir What they did to brown people did to their own poor first and That white people want to be oppressed so bad Okay we accept that you've been oppressed But realize your oppressors were white people too So if you so sad and want to be considered for your oppression Your oppression was white than originally in the states working class whites were also enslaved then no one talks about it today ever since the master came of the system of privilege made the working whites the overseers mulatto the house could put the darkest blacks in the field that mind is with us still being done the industry skin cream and bleaching pill i'm gonna lose it i'm gonna lose it and let's be honest most people in my complexion to this very day still think they're better than the darker section and that's not the case you say it's changed then only a did he just jump into colorism? He's like, yeah, I'm going to tell you that we're still being oppressed with systematic racism. You want to act like that's not happening no more, but it is. But let me tell you how it is now. He went into classism and then he, swept, he swerved from classism into colorism so smoothly that he thought he, thought he was going to get me. No, we catch everything over here. We catch these bars. I'm starting to think, for real, for real, the UK was the father of slavery because basically that's the same thing they did to Americans. They, except for America just had slavery, but they had slavery and poor people, but they gave the poor white people dominion over the slave class. And then they gave the fair part of the slave class dominion over the darker version of the slave class. And that's still going on today. And people are buying bleaching and skim creams that lighten their skin and still do it. So how are we pretending that this is no longer happening? Y'all hearing the same thing? Local Cocos in the comments. Are we hearing the same thing? Just let me know. Take me about global force, not about the Africans in Haiti who beat the armies of the British, Spanish, and Napoleon. From the moment they stolen them, there was no control in them. Went in school, she said, No, you never fought for freedom. No, we freed you, and you were on your knees pleading. And what's more, did you know that we kind of saved you from the barbarism of Africa? You should be grateful when enough. Oh my god. Okay, okay. We're not gonna act like they don't. This is not happening right now. Sign in a TikTok. Sign in a TikTok. He was like, oh, how, if white people weren't so racist, why did we free you as slaves? Like, rebellions didn't happen. Like, white people want us to be grateful that they ended slavery like they did it to benefit us. People still acting like Abraham Lincoln is the coolest president because he freed the slaves. Abraham Lincoln said that if he could have kept America together, and kept slavery going, he would have. It, it didn't benefit him to end slavery. But it benefited him to end slavery or be jump on the wave and end the slavery. So then he just got known as this great abolitionist. But he wasn't. He wasn't. And then what he did to Native Americans was even more deplorable. So we're not even going to keep pretending like... History is accurate. It's whitewashed. It's whitewashed. And white people want us to be so grateful that slavery is over. Y'all ended slavery to protect y'all. 
Y'all didn't end slavery to help us because we was about to start getting in on your ass. Y'all gave us too much. Slaves were sneaking and reading, stupid shit like that. So at the end of the day, we not gonna be grateful for you doing the right thing. Point blank, period. For the own people can't be bothered to read that they actually believe that we were swinging from trees. They don't know the kingdom of Congo had embassies in Italy 500 years ago. Literally, they obviously ain't read what Aristotle when Herodotus said about people that they saw for their own eyes. It is because all important Greek philosophers studied in Africa took the knowledge to their countries, personalized it without giving credit. He's just been invaded since the fall of the pharaohs. Not once, not twice, but many, many times. So nobody wants to explain why so many statues are missing noses. Even when the statues made a granite. It ain't one people alone. Miss talk about themselves. We live on Celtic land. But don't learn about the Celts the same. <sighs> Yo. He is dropping so many gems. He is dropping so many gems. Like... They want you to believe that your story started with slavery. They don't tell you about the great civilizations of Africa that Europeans came and studied under. All their great Greek philosophers were students in university in Africa, and they try to make Egypt not part of Africa so bad because they don't want to admit that they were dark Egyptians. What they're not telling you is they've invaded Egypt so many times, raped, pillaged, and mixed cultures, mixed DNA, and then that, that they're so fair, they're trying to pretend like Egypt is another part of Europe. And they just they just trying to claim it, or they're trying to act like Egypt is this independent thing that's not part of Africa, and then there's the rest of Africa, because they don't want you to know that you come from great thinkers, great teachers, kings, kings, pharaohs, all of that stuff. They don't want you to know the greatness of you. So they won't teach you that part. And they want you to believe that your story started with slavery. But then look what they're doing to this day. They don't show the fly parts of Africa. They don't show that. They'll make you think that flat Africa is all huts and flies and malaria and diarrhea and all these deplorable conditions but there are still awesome places in africa that are beautiful but they won't show you that they'll just try to downplay africa they still trying to steal resources and figure out how to come together to steal the resources of africa now our african brothers and sisters like yo stop believing africa come back home we are the sixth diaspora for real for real but they don't want you to know that and they put the information in books knowing that you won't read them because they condition you not to Ugh. Irish people, you characterize as stupid You're in the dark ages, some of the most educated Living in Europe, and did you learn And numbers you count with every day was invented by Indian people, I bet you didn't Or how many million Indians fought for Britain In both world wars, still you got the cheek To call them immigrants I know you fucking lying, bitch We don't learn about the Moors, of course, for some that knowledge Dangerous, is it a problem, the impact They had on the Renaissance, when people take power Over another group, we minimize their Achievements, so we can make it feel true So if you think, all right I'm, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. He's spitting fact. He's spitting truth. But he is not riding this beat. He he came here. On this one, he came here. I'm going to say what I want to say regardless of what they play. Because he's not always rhyming on beat. He's like, I'm not going to let the message be missed because of the music. And I'm not feeling that part of it. Because, like... I'm trying to get into it and I'm, I feel the rhythm and then he start rapping and then trying to be in rhythm and listen to him is a disconnect because he's not he's not as clean as he was on the first one. And he was definitely not as clean as the fourth one because, again, I told you I reacted to that one three years ago. It's in the crates. So we doing one through three because I've never seen. But as far as number two, I'm not feeling the cadence and the rhyme style of number two. I appreciate the message. I love the message, but the way he rapping is not it for me. This was first to say you ocean blue. You probably believe Elvis invented rock and roll too. Oh! And oh, for the record, no doubt, I believe in peace, but not for one second and they'll turn the other cheek. They slap you, slap them back. 
take teeth. The only way you bully ever learn is getting beat. <sighs> I, see, that's the disappointing part because he is spitting. He's saying some hot shit, but he's fucking up this beat. It's 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 a he's not trying to be a MC right now. He just rapping words. The music is just a background noise to him right now. Like he's literally he's he said turn up the vocal, but he might need them to turn the vocal down so he can get the beat back in his head. Because at the end of the day, he is not killing this, even though he's saying some real shit. He's saying some real shit. He like look. I won't, he pretty much saying, I won't start a fight, but I'll finish it. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I don't encourage violence, but if you do something to me, I'm going to overdo it to you. So if you slap me, I'm knocking out teeth because the only way a bully will learn is getting their ass beat, which is true, which is true, true. I've never seen a bully stop bullying somebody until a bully got beat up pretty much. So like I said, I'm not missing nothing. I think I'm catching it more because it's so off kilter, but I don't I don't like his rhyming style on this one. On credit, because I've got a message on credit, because I'm the best MC. Get it. When I came out way back in 04, sister, I just won every award. Most men would have done the big thing, put big sis on the chorus chords. That would have been A-list draw. Quickly, I would have been famous more, but look how I came in this team draw. Bang up his chicks some more. Don't, don't do that right here. I don't know if they do that where you're from, but where I'm from, they don't do that. <laughs> if I MC, then I heard me rap, I'll be like, what the? I ain't never gonna be that good, so I better not push my luck. It will embarrass me. Only insanity would make you challenge me. Better hope if we bump heads, that day that I feel like Chabby. Bruh. If not, it's a beating, and there ain't no use in searching for meaning. Cause all it means is that you are crap and I am a genius. Why I'm Panama? I'll push the parameter. Can you imagine the fathom? I'm sicker than average. I kill him with character. Benjamin Banneker. Look at the marriage. I'm in the damage. I went from Metallica. Got a look for the hole in the calendar. So cold that I'm all in the challenger. Why you man roll with an amateur? I'm too much harder. You can just call him Father McCalla. But I don't talk shit like a pasta. You really know that I'm smarter than half a bloody disaster. If I ever start, I'll probably a prodigy make you. I think, and I know this is old, but fuck it, I talked to the TV. I think he felt my thoughts. He was like, I'm not killing this like I should. So he tried to switch up the cadence and go double time. And the double time is b bananas. The double time is bananas because now he flexing on MCs again about how great he can rap. And telling you, like, he he, pro he just he pretty much did a Nicki Minaj before Nicki Minaj. He just was like, these niggas is my sons. Call me your father. I, I caught all of that. But this beat, either he don't give a fuck about this beat or he don't give a fuck about this beat. Because even in double time, he's still off. He's saying some hot shit. Message received. But it's off. That, oh, that's... Oh, we got seven more minutes to go. This is a bummer because if he was hitting all of this net message, all of these hot bars on this fly beat and the marriage was blended properly, ugh, ugh, ugh. Just because you say real shit, if you don't do it right, the song is still whack. And I'm not, this is a freestyle the message is not whack. The way he delivering it is. I'm not going to, I'm going to be honest. I'm going to, y'all probably going to shut down my channel for saying that, but that's how I feel about this right now. Uh -uh, please crap MCs that mumble. Then see me in the flesh and crumble. Hey, Never told hey. you that I was humble. No, I'm not. Don't lie. I'm so sure in my writing ability that I feel like I'm fine in divinity. Sit down and me rhyme a soliloquy. My agility, time in his military. What a scene, get a team for the mini me. It seems rough team for the mimicry. Your team got a dream of the synergy. That'll be my scheme when the wicked beat. There goes again with the big words with best syllables. Keep ditching them. Look, 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 look at this. Somebody come look at this. Look at this. Somebody come and look at this. That's all I'm about. Clowns on the shout. Flash him, smash him in the mouth. Bloody professor, a man of the letters. I've read and I've read and I'm sure that I'm better. Never regret an endeavor to dead an oppressor. I think that the lepers, the think that the pleasures are better endeavors. The lot of our pressures, but see me? Born in a rage. Maroon blood coursing my veins. As you can see, I was born for the stage, but I'll never be that cultural maid. Some say the whip. See, this double time don't go with that beat. Even Charlie don't know what to do. Usually he 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 on point with the ad libs and the in the in the drops. But he don't even know where to go with this because the double time is not working for this track. And just because you can do it doesn't mean you should. He should have stayed in one slower cadence the whole time and gave us this cadence style another time. 
Political is what they're doing isn't. Don't they preach a political doctrine called materialism? But for all the Italian clothes that you wear, all German cars that you drive, all French champagne that we we'll buy, will still be monkeys in their eyes. So why you were begging it? Who knows? Italians fight to wear Jamaican clothes. Italians call their own women for everyone's entertainment, bro. But hey, what do I know? I'm just the one with the clothes that flows all over the globe. I'm burning out shows, but still don't oil my chest and pose. This isn't working. Pose a threat to the power structure. Not because we're anything special, but because we're the people together. And that's the only way things change ever. <laughs> Okay, I'm not hating, and y'all better be real with yourselves. Charlie Sleuth cut him off because he was not killing it. He faded the he instead of hitting him with bombs and dropping it, he he was fading and turning the music down. Like wrap this up because this wasn't it. He was saying some real shit. Don't get me wrong, the message is legit. He wasn't just rapping bullshit, but the fact of the matter is. The beat that he was on, he was not feeling that beat. The way he was rapping to that beat was wrong. And Charlie cut him off. He didn't hit him with all the bombs and stuff like that. He 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 literally gave him the Oscar, okay, wrap it up by trying to turn the music off. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I kind of just told the building to pieces. I don't even know what to say. Cap. Cap. Charlie trying to give him the juice right now. Charlie, I'm um, no offense. Y'all know, y'all know, I fucks with a collar. But right now, Charlie's trying to give him the juice to snap on whatever was going to happen next. We got about four or five more minutes left. Charlie trying to juice him to, to, to get this going. Yo, little story. Let's take him down. Yo, listen. Oh. Uh. Yo. I know you gonna dig this. Absolute power corrupts, absolutely, but absolute powerlessness does the same. It's not the poverty, it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane. Nothing! In a scheme of living, my life wasn't hard. But as far as Britain goes, I practically starved. Sleeping in a tracksuit, gas meter running out, electric car office, world candles lighting up the house. Damn! Looking in my mother's eyes, I see how she feels. The strain and the pain of just paying bills that ain't real And that's how I grew, like so many more And that was part of who I am, I ain't very sure You wanna know the rage I feel in my stomach? Know my mom and dad's blood when I was still in the stomach and not everything that happened, I will put in 16s But I will tell you enough so you will know what I mean My boy's mother got cancer at the same time as mine But his mother... Okay This is a whole lot better, I hope it's like he's giving us a little, is he creating a song right now? Because right now, this sounds like a song that exists already, but if it's not and he's trying to freestyle a song, the way he entered on this song is a whole lot better. And again, he's still giving you the struggle. He's saying like, look, absolute power is bad, but absolute powerlessness is bad also. So... There's got to be a happy middle where you have power and uh, and you know when to shut that off. You know what I'm saying? He was like, yo, he slept in a trash suit. The lights would go off. The gas would go off. I've been there. I've been there when my mom let us. We didn't have no lights for like three days until my mom was able to get the money together. Um, but I don't know if the electrical system is the same here. But I've been there as a, as a youth, so he's still giving us the, he's giving us the struggle, but he's giving it to us way better on this track. Died, a man survived. It was crazy back then. When I was like ten, already had the mental strength more than many grown men. This was a couple years after my stepdad left. Did he really know the crazy mess that he left? Bruh. Because mom done recover from the lumps in the neck But being poor and alone couldn't cope with the stress Her and my big sis fought so much so And I hadn't left school when she left home <laughs> I'm I was 13 by now, still a little kid, innocent Next couple years though, we'll turn him to a militant That is the result of no food in the fridge And every other day you're getting searched by the pigs Damn! 
Plus these patronizing teachers, though my grade sick, trying to emasculate me. Yeah, turn me to a Anna. Don't mean a woman, please let me be clear. I mean a spineless man, because what do they fear? More than a working class brown male with a brain. When our energy is harnessed, everything changes. I am shook it. Look at Pat, look at Marley, look at Hendrix, look at Garvey. This is the potential that is wasted on a daily basis. A racist, classist, world that we live in. Still we coming for nothing and we educate millions. I see why it scares you. It's like, how dare you overcome obstacles that we have been careful to place in your way. <laughs> Every step of the way in this so called democracy where kids get sprayed, blacks and the Asians, Turks and the chaps, crowded in council flats, living like ants, and who's more confused than so called white trash talking this madness, but they want their country back. Who are you? It never. Okay, that was mean. That was a bar. That was a word right there. He was like, the only thing that white supremacy hates more than poor white people is melanated people with a brain. So they're confused and offended that you actually are smart. Have you ever had somebody who's like, oh my God, you actually speak very well. That's because they assume that are dumb. They assume we're dumb. The, the, the consensus on melanated people is that we're not educated because why? Elite whites said that we were savages, barbarians. They had everything named to call us except for human. So when we prove to be intelligent and the fact that we're intelligent and we're from the hood, we just come with a little tougher interior that elite aristocratical whites don't have. So they just assume that if you're smart, that you're white and you're a gentle person. But if you're doing the same work, getting the same homework as the elite whites are getting, the same information, plus you have to go home and fight war in your neighborhood, y'all not cut the same. So... While you're surprised, ugh, this is, mm, I'm catching it. Was yours. You should read more. What they did to brown people, they did to their own poor, but people's memory short so much that I'm seeing black and Asian kids cross Eastern European. Look at this. No pot to piss in makes competition. I fail to see how this is an effective system when cats and dogs in America and Britain eat better food than most of humanity. You're an awful person. Even we spend our technology on the young killing. How is this more than sophisticated savagery? It was once said the world is a stage, each person just an actor with a part to play. They like the middle class kids and kids of the rich that have everything, but yet still they pissed on their coke and ketamine, strung out on. I ain't generalizing. Look at the evidence. So go to Glastonbury any year, you will see. But unlike Carnival, it won't be crawling with police. This is London. The kids on the very next street had a very different life experience from me. And in my experience, they can't help but be smug after a lifetime of what they think's just good luck. But it's still more anxious and more thankless. Unearned privilege weighs like an anchor. That's why they copy what we do, trying to be what they know. They will grow up though and get better jobs. Everybody wanna be black. Don't nobody wanna be a nigga. To maintain a system that they claim that they hated. They okay, are we not? Are we not fighting this now? Everybody wants to be black until it's time to be black. They put on the black scent. They put on the clothes. They want to rap, act like they're from the culture. But when it's time to get them blues out, oh, then they step into their whiteness. They can they can take it off. Then they know how. Then they understand that code switching happens when us as minorities say that we code switch so that way we can survive in the work world and then we come home and we home and we different people they don't understand that but they understand code switch and when it's time to turn off the nigga they can turn that shit off and get better jobs you know what i'm saying have access to wealth that we can't but at the same time there are people who live in neighborhoods that are worse than the neighborhood that he's living in thinking that his life is so great because he has a little bit more than them. Crabs in the barrel mentality and the cycle continues. And at the end of the day, you forget that 
you were the bottom of the totem pole at one point. So now I guess in the UK, it's Eastern Europeans that you guys, East Asians that you guys are discriminating against now. And it's not just white people, it's black people and Asian people doing it to them like it didn't happen to you. So it's not like it happened to you and you chose to be better. It happened to you and you fed into that and now you're doing it to somebody else, which is crazy. And it's it's bananas, but look, this is way better than the first. I'm glad that this happened. Don't fight against, they got a stake in this matrix. Hip hop is just a fad to them. You didn't know? But for us, this is a living, breathing soul. And yeah, they might backpack in South America or even volunteer in an African village. But all said and done, when push comes to shove, and sh hits the fan of middle class and British, and I ain't even dissing. That's just how it is. Most rich brown people are just as full of shit. So much more concerned with our cars and jewels than most of the world's poor looks just like you. So much more concerned with being privileged few. And who knows, maybe me too. But is gonna die on the line because absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane absolute power corrupts absolutely but absolute powerlessness does the same it's not the poverty it's the inequality we live with every day that will turn us insane Okay, so yeah, I like I like how he cleaned that up at the end. The the beginning was rough. The message was amazing, but the way he was delivering it wasn't wasn't. This one was better, and basically he's like, look, the elites ain't shit, but the people who got a little bit of money, y'all not shit either because y'all not helping people come out. Y'all get a little bit of money and leave. And the, the people who are oppressed look like you. Like, you forgot you was there. The least don't care. They'll fuck with hip-hop and stuff like that. But then they'll go do their thing and make their money and keep building wealth on your backs. You get a little bit of money. You've left the people behind that look like you who need that game. And he's trying to give it. But he's like, maybe I'm just like y'all because at the end of the day, I'm still doing better than some. And a lot of people who look like me is still oppressed. So the cycle continues and who's going to be the one to break that? I don't know. But again, I'm glad that I got the end part. The, the beginning was tough. I'm not going to lie to you. The beginning was tough. But the, I got what the message was. Now, if you can get past how he delivered it to what he was saying, he was saying some real stuff. But that was Fire in the Booth Part 2. Definitely uh 50-50 for me a 50-50 ball if I had to give it uh one out of ten I would give that a hard five and a half six five and a half more five and a half than six but that's what it is but local cocos let me know what you feel about this fire and booth down in the description below if you want to see more videos like this make sure you let me know down in the comments original video is going to be in the description make sure you hashtag post notification gang so you know that when we dropping these bangers and until next time you know how we do peace <laughs>